Hi, my name is Coleman Brown. I'm with Instructional Technology. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to authenticate your Chromebook at home. Uh, this will be very important, especially when uh, you, the student, take your Chromebooks home or parents, when your student brings your uh, what brings their Chromebook home, how can they get access to certain websites um, that the teacher may send, especially during an e-learning event or when you are simply using your Chromebook after school at home. And so I want to show you a couple of things here. I'll uh, show you this one thing. So typically when you're just a child or when the student uh, signs into their Chromebook for the first time, it will typically pull up their school's website that they are associated with. If not, they have websites already pulled open. It does not matter. It can be closed or open, one or the other. So we're just going to pretend that it's closed here. What we're going to do is we're going to authenticate their Chromebook. Um, most websites like Google and their school website will pull open. So like a Google slide or a Google doc or a Google Jamboard, Google classroom, just many of those things will open. But there may be some websites that might not operate um, and until those things are authenticated. So uh, one thing that you want to do when you sign in and you are attached to, when you are logged in on your home Wi-Fi, you want to go down here on your student's Chromebook and then you need to click on the little blue lock right here gc authenticate once you do that it'll open up a browser window for you and on this website you're going to type in you're going to type in how, or you're going to select how long you want it to have access and so i'm going to just choose six hours just for right now and then i'm going to type in my username and then i will also type in my password here and i'll show you what it looks like in order to authenticate your chromebook once you do that, you click log in, and then once you have logged in, it will say you have made the changes to your browser. Um, so now you need to restart it. Um, there's no restart button. So simply, you just need to click the X right up here to close out your browser, and then you will open it back up, and then you are good to go.